hello guys welcome back to another video of automation testing insider so today i'm going to talk about an important topic that is traceability matrix so what do you mean by traceability matrix so it is the mapping of requirement to the test cases so let me just further explain so whenever we get the requirement and whenever we start the testing process so uh, it is the it is a document where we map requirement to the scenarios from scenarios to test cases and from test cases we map the defects so this is the complete mapping this document talks about the complete mapping of requirement to the scenarios to the test cases and defects and there are couple of things or couple of advantages of having traceability matrix guys so the first thing is complete coverage of the testing complete coverage of the testing how we do the complete coverage because it, we make sure that each requirement has at least one test case one or more than one test case okay guys so this is the this ensures the complete coverage of the testing another point is it helps us to uh, find the root cause of the defect root cause of the defect how we uh, get the root cause of the defect because it is mapping to mapping to the defects as well so from defect we we will find out like which te test case it belongs to from test case we'll find out what is the scenario and from scenario what is the requirement so this is how we can get the root cause of the defect so this is a very important document guys as far as testing is concerned so let's talk more about traceability matrix in this document the test cases are mapped to to the corresponding requirement to ensure the coverage of the test cases to find any gap between requirement and test cases it is also known as requirement traceability matrix rtm or cross reference matrix rtm or crm these are the other names guys it is prepared before the test execution process so basically we have three types of traceability matrix we have forward traceability matrix that is done before the execution process so usually we do the traceability before the execution process but there is another traceability matrix we have backward which is done after the execution guys and another we have bidirectional so these are the uh, three types of traceability matrix which we'll discuss in coming slides this document is designed to make sure that each requirement has a test case the test engineer will prepare test traceability matrix for their respective assigned modules and then it will be sent to the test lead later test lead will consolidate consolidate all the traceability matrix all the documents and prepare one traceability matrix for the project so this is how uh, usually we used to do that so what are the goals of traceability matrix it allows you to see if a requirement is fully documented or not a requirement traceability matrix can even call attention to missing requirements so this is we used to call attention to missing requirement it ensures that the software completely meets the customer requirements a traceability matrix can help in effort to provide proper and consistent documentation for your team provide proper and consistent documentation for your team in the effort to provide so it helps us to estimate the effort as well it helps in detecting the root cause of any bug so which we have discussed at the beginning of this video so this is the simple uh, sample of traceability matrix guys so here i have taken an example of gmail application gmail so here we have different uh, columns so we have serial number and the second one is requirement id so here we have business requirement 1 br1 1.0 so this is how we used to write the requirement id and the next one is requirement description what is the requirement description summary of the requirement description so here we have inbox to test the inbox of gmail another column we have is scenario so what are the scenarios for this particular requirement like for inbox so we have mails we have to uh, mail sending the compose the emails or the second one is reply and then we have forward emails so these are the three scenarios and we have corresponding test cases to the scenarios so here we have five test cases about this mail scenario mail scenario right so here we have written like test case underscore gmail the project and then mail the scenario and 
so 0 1 0 2 these are the test case id guys now uh, test case description so summary of the test cases like check the mail in the inbox verify the open email verify the uh, read email verify the downloads and attachment so these are the five test cases we map to the this particular scenario uh, five test cases right similarly we have reply to so couple of test cases for this reply emails now here we have test results what is the result of the uh, of our test cases like so out of five we have one pass this is also pass. the second one is failed correct and there is another one is failed and we have corresponding we are mapping to to the defect id as well so here we map with the defects as well so here i have given the defect id another column and what is the defect status so this is in open state so if it is closed so we can make it as closed as well and here we have defect to corresponding we have status so this is how we map uh, we map to the requirement uh, from the requirement to the scenario to the test cases and test results and defect id guys so this is the complete tracking of our testing activities correct complete uh, complete mapping of our requirements so this is traceability matrix so in the next video i'll show you the real time template of traceability matrix as well guys now let's move forward to the next slide what are the types of traceability matrix so the traceability matrix can be classified into three types which are as follows which we have discussed at the beginning of this video which is forward traceability matrix the first one this is also called horizontal traceability matrix as well another one is backward or reverse traceability or this is also called vertical traceability matrix another one is bidirectional traceability now let's talk about each one of them in detail so what is forward traceability matrix guys so forward traceability is used to map the requirements to the test cases right so how we do that so whenever we get the requirement from the customer when we write start the writing the test cases so this is done before the execution this is done before the execution test case execution process so we'll write all the requirements in the document and then we'll map to each whatever test cases we have authored so this is this helps to uh, trace trace all the uh, activities right all the requirements whether we have captured the uh, required test cases or not uh, in in case of this forward traceability so not only this will establish that uh, that every requirement is being tested from top to bottom but it will also assist in confirming that project's trajectory is sound the main objective of this to verify whether the product developments are going in the right direction or not so whenever uh, we have any change in the requirement so we'll update the requirement from uh, requirement got uh, it will update by the eba and then further we'll write the we'll update our test cases as well and then we'll map to the right test cases so this is how it is happening when we follow this forward traceability matrix so this goes in forward direction correct so later on we'll execute the test cases based on uh, whatever test cases we have written correct and then we'll map to the uh, whether what is the result of the test cases and then defects as well this is forward traceability matrix now if you talk about backward or reverse traceability matrix or this is also called vertical traceability matrix so you can make a backward traceability matrix by mapping test cases with the requirements so this is just reverse guys from the test cases we map to the requirements so this is usually done after the execution so once once our execution is done uh, once we we got the requirement from the customer so we have written the test cases now execution is done now from the execution will map to the requirements correct and this is usually uh, done when there is uh, there is no scope of changing the requirement in the application so the reverse or backward traceability is used to check that we are not increasing the space of the product by enhancing the design elements code test other things which are not mentioned in the business needs so this is the main important point of the backward traceability matrix so basically we use these uh, when the scope of development is not changing frequently or not changing right so the main objective of this that existing project remains in the correct direction another one we have bidirectional traceability so what do you mean by bidirectional traceability matrix 
सो बाई डायरेक्शनल ट्रेसिबिलिटी एसेंशली कम्बाइंस फॉरवर्ड एंड बैकवर्ड ट्रेसिबिलिटी इन टू वन डॉक्यूमेंट सो दिस इज द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ बोथ लाइक फॉरवर्ड एंड बैकवर्ड गाइज सो एंड यूजली डन बिफोर द एग्जीक्यूशन एंड आफ्टर द एग्जीक्यूशन सो फ्रॉम द रिक्वायरमेंट टू द टेस्ट केसेस एंड फ्रॉम टेस्ट केसेस टू द रिक्वायरमेंट दिस टाइप इज यूजफुल बिकॉज इट इस्टेब्लिशेज दैट ईच रिक्वायरमेंट हैज रिलेटिंग टेस्ट केसेस इट ऑल्सो इवेल्युएट्स द मॉडिफिकेशन द रिक्वायरमेंट विच इज अकरिंग ड्यू टू द बर्क इन द एप्लीकेशन लेट से इफ एनी पर्टिकुलर रिक्वायरमेंट इज नॉट करेक्ट एंड वी गॉट द डिफेक्ट और इफ एनी रिक्वायरमेंट इज मिसिंग सो दिस इज दिस इवेल्युएट्स द मॉडिफिकेशन द रिक्वायरमेंट विच इज अकरिंग ड्यू टू द बर्क इन द एप्लीकेशन सो दीज आर द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ट्रेसिबिलिटी मैट्रिक्स का सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू एनी ऑफ द ट्रेसिबिलिटी मैट्रिक्स दैन प्लीज लेट मी नो Please write your queries in the comment box and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe this channel and click the bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos so probably in the next video i'll talk about i'll showcase you the real time traceability uh, matrix template so thank you guys for watching have a nice day bye bye